in front of a camera what's up you guys it's hannah welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of 2024 what would i be doing if not resetting for the new year i'm here i am a little bit late to this i feel like so many people had their 2024 reset videos up before it was even 2024 i was like oh my god i had no choice but to wait until now to do this because i was waiting for my planner to come in and i could not do a 2024 reset without my planner like most of the things that i want to do in this video has to do with my planner so let me just show you the planner that i got okay 2024 is gonna be the year of me excuse me 2024 is gonna be the year of me getting back to using a physical planner i have purchased physical planners the last few years and then simply did not use them i just ended up like writing stuff down in random places on my laptop my phone i would rather have my planner with all of my stuff in it for the whole year one thing where everything is and that's literally what i did my entire life into the last few years. In the last few years, I have slacked majorly with the planner. So 2024, physical planners are in for me. Yes, I did write an ins and outs list for this year, but here's my planner, okay? It's beautiful. You need to brace yourselves. Are you ready? Okay. So she's stunning. This is from Papier. Not sponsored by Papier, but... I love them. It's perfect. It's spiral bound so I can, you know, do this. I love doing this and that's important to me. So this is my lifeline for 2024. I'm bringing back the physical planners. I'm going to force myself to actually stick by this thing and use it. And we're going to be doing some things in this today. I love these planners because in the back, there's all this blank space version i wanted to do like a 2024 vision board i've been saving things on pinterest so i'm going to do that and i want to actually put it this year in my planner last year i had like a physical one and it hung on my wall which i enjoyed but i i don't know i just want to try something different so i'm actually just gonna put it across this spread and then on the next page write 2024 goals i came up with a word of the year i have my ins and out list i want to do all of that in my planner also as you may or may not no. If you've been watching me for a while, then you recognize this background. It's the same background that I had in my last video for Christmas. I am still, in fact, at my parents' house. <laughs> by the time this video is posted, I will be back in New York. But by the time I go back, I will have been here for almost a month, which is the longest I have been here since I moved out. I actually have a trip coming up very, very, very soon in January. Since I'm going on this trip, my cat my best friend, my love of my life, Charlotte, Charlie for short. She is staying with my parents again. She stays here with them when I travel. So she's been here a lot in the last several months because I've been traveling. So I basically have stayed here or am staying here as long as possible so that I can spend time with her before I have to not see her for another like few weeks. I'm going to tell you where I'm going because I haven't actually said yet, but I am going to Thailand. <laughs> I'm going to Thailand for like a week and a half-ish, almost two weeks. I'm going with three of my friends. You will see more about that on my socials, all of them, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I will have a vlog coming, obviously. I'll probably my next video, I think will be a prepping video. So that's where I'm going. <laughs> Anyway, so that is why I'm still here. Let's get down to business. The very first thing that I did, I did this a few days ago because I just needed to do something. I needed to get something under control and this is what I did first. I did kind of a financial reset. So I'm gonna take you through 
what I did, what I used, what that even means. I've made a lot of progress in the last couple years with my financial literacy and just like understanding my own financial situation, investing. That was one of my big goals for last year and I did that, which I'm really proud of myself for and I'm happy that I got that started. But now I feel like I really just need to get a better understanding of my finances and like especially budgeting understanding what i spend the most on i am in no way irresponsible with my money i think that i can always understand more i can always learn more and be better i found and canceled some subscriptions and memberships and stuff that i either didn't use anymore didn't even know that i was paying for i set a little budget i did all of this the other day all on rocket money and rocket money is kindly sponsoring this video which is so convenient it is the start of the year so a good financial reset just made me feel so good so as part of my financial reset for 2024 i wanted to get on top of my expenses start budgeting and just get a good feel for my financial standing and today's sponsor rocket money is here to help you probably have heard of rocket money before but if you haven't rocket money is the personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions lower your bills and just overall manage your money better i use rocket money and i am using rocket money for three main things the first being canceling unwanted subscriptions <laughs> I linked all of my accounts and I found out that I have been paying for an ad week membership monthly since 2020. I signed up for it when I was in college. I don't even remember doing that, but I've been being charged since 2020. So I canceled that. I also saw that I have been being charged the last few months for a stars subscription, which I don't also remember even setting up, but swiftly canceled that as well because what i'm also using rocket money to set budgets like i said they show you how much you spend in each category all your purchases everything every transaction in the accounts that you link is categorized and so when you go to set budgets rocket money tells you what your average monthly spend in that category is so that you can gauge your budget accordingly it automatically monitors your spending by category you can get notifications when you go over your spending limit and you can visualize what you're spending the most money on and also visualize your spend to earn ratio something that i haven't done yet but i am going to do is use rocket money to negotiate my bill rocket money actually notified me that one of my bills seemed a bit high and that they could negotiate it for me so i just have to fill in some information about my account details and stuff for that bill it's my internet bill they negotiate it for you so i'm very very interested and excited to do that you can also just upload a photo of your bill if you don't feel like putting all your information in and you just tap a button and rocket money will negotiate your bill for you from internet service bills to cable and phone bills so if you want to save more and spend less in 2024 you can join the over 5 million members using rocket money today you can go to rocketmoney.com slash hannah elise or click the link in the description to get started for free and you can also unlock even more features with premium that's rocketmoney.com slash hannah elise to get started for free today and thank you again to rocket money for sponsoring this portion of today's video i would not recommend something to you if i did not use it myself and like test it out already and see its benefits i don't want to tell you guys about anything that i don't think you could benefit from it just is so helpful and i think that it's so important to be smart with your money i mean duh i feel like i was taught sort of about this in school but not nearly as much as i needed to know and for the last couple years i have been much more intentional about how i spend my money and what i do with it but aside from even that just knowing exactly what is going on in your financial situation seeing the figures seeing the categories of your spending and being able to understand that set budgets and just manage your money the best that you possibly can is so important now i want to set up my planner i've been waiting to set up this planner since i got it the other day and i've been waiting for this video to do it because i am so excited about it and i want you guys to share in that excitement with me hopefully we've got vision board making 2024 goals that i wrote some on my computer and i want to review them with you and then i'm also going to write them down physically in the planner so i have them with me i have been going on pinterest obviously i've been saving pins to a 2024 board and i want to print all of these out and arrange them in a cute collage in my planner this is one of my favorite things to do i think that this is just so much fun i just get so inspired by it do i still have my 2023 one i want to look at it oh i do let's review my 2023 vision board actually so i guess that i printed out most if not all of these 
and put them on the one that's in my room. So I'm gonna go through and see what the heck we've got. I forgot I even had this in my Pinterest. This is so fun. Okay, first few things, first thing that's catching my eye is Taylor Swift. I went to the Eras tour twice in 2023. I didn't realize when I made this board that for my second concert, I would be in the first row. And this picture right here is somebody who's like super close. I didn't even know that I would be that close and I ended up being that close, which is crazy this is even on this board. I pinned this because I like wanted to manifest a boyfriend. That didn't happen, but that's okay. <laughs> the friendship pictures that I put on here, like dinner parties with friends and stuff, this was relevant for the first like few months of the year. And then, um, I don't know, I just, my friendship situations changed a lot, a lot in 2023. People moved, people I'd lost contact with. So I think that this type of vibe was way more prevalent in 2022 than it was in 2023, which did make me sad, I won't lie. Hamptons, I think I wanted to stay in a Hamptons house. I didn't do that, but I did go to the Hamptons and I went to an event at a house that kind of looked like this, or it was a hotel. I really do want to do like a weekend in the Hamptons at some point. I went to San Francisco. So that came true and I got a cool picture with the Golden Gate Bridge. This picture here is from Positano. I went to Positano and I ate pasta in Italy, which was one of my life goals. Like literally, it was on my life bucket list to eat pasta in Italy. And I did that this year, which is, or last year, which is so, so awesome. I've got a lot of travel on here, like me at the airport. I was at the airport more last year than I've ever been. I traveled to three new countries last year, which is, it's, wait, oh my god, look at the caption on this. LAX to London. This picture, this person was going to London. I did not know when I made this board that I would be going to London in 2023. I had no plans to do that. That's so crazy. I don't know. That, that's probably like a really small thing that I'm just like, wow, it was a sign. But like London, this person was going to London. I pinned that on my board and I went to London twice. We've got solid core. <laughs> I was really on my solid core grind beginning of 2023. Kept it going for a while. I did over 50 classes at solid core and then I got bored. I've learned about myself and this will have to do with the goal that I am setting for 2024. I cannot do the same exercise all the time. Like I cannot be a member to just one exercise studio where it's the same type of class multiple times a week because I will get bored. I need to switch it up. I need variety to keep myself interested. I liked solid core because I got good at it. I got stronger, so much stronger. I knew what they were talking about in class. Like I was able to do everything and I felt good. Like I felt so strong, but it would just drain me so much. And I would just feel like I needed to sleep for 17 years afterwards. Some people say exercise energizes them, but this drained me. Like it was so intense. I don't know. It, it had its pros and its cons, but I ended up canceling my solid core membership this fall and I haven't been back. I mean, I would go back to do like a class here and there, but I've just realized that I need to switch things up so I don't get bored. But anyway, I put that on there because I was really trying to keep myself on my grind and I was on that grind for way longer than I honestly thought I was gonna be, so I'm proud of myself. Oh my gosh! I think I have this pinned on 2024's board too. All the books. I read 21 books last year, which is a lot for me. I think that's probably the most I've read in one year ever. And I'm really excited about it. I got so much into reading this past year. It's become like, honestly, my favorite hobby. So that came true. I've got some friends at the Eiffel Tower. I saw the Eiffel Tower this year with my friends and it was awesome. I saw it at night, I saw it sparkle. Another one from Paris. So, I mean, honestly, I feel like I did achieve so many amazing things this year. I got to do things that I've only dreamed of. So like, in a way I did create the life of my dreams. Obviously there's so much more to that that I still am working on, but I did so many things that I only dreamt of last year, which is amazing and I'm extremely grateful for. Oh, Napa Valley. I went on a Napa Valley wine tour. That was so much fun. <laughs> wow, that was something I really wanted to do also and it made me so happy to do. That was my 2023 vision board. Honestly, a lot of that did happen and that makes me really happy. There were also a lot of tough moments in 2023. I felt very uncertain about my path for a lot of the time. I just felt like I was floating almost. Like I didn't really have a place. I wasn't tied down to anything. I didn't have a clear path for myself and I honestly still don't feel like I have a clear path for myself. But 2024, I'm just gonna tell you my word now because it actually has to do with that. I just came up with my word for 2024 like an hour ago, it came to me. And my word for 2024 is going to be fulfillment. I want to feel fulfilled in every aspect of my life, in my relationships, friendship relationships specifically. But you know, if my soulmate comes into my life in 2024, 
that would be great, you know? Anyway, sue me. I want to feel fulfilled in my everyday life. <laughs> I want to feel like I'm spending my time in a good way. I want to feel fulfilled with my health. I want to feel fulfilled with my career, with my work. Fulfillment, it just feels right. It feels like the right word to focus on this year. I need to just have that be the thesis statement of my year. Fulfillment is not something that comes easily. It's not something that I can just say, you know, I want to feel fulfilled and then the universe will make me feel fulfilled. I have to do a lot of work. It doesn't just happen. I think I've gotten to the point where I'm so tired of feeling unfulfilled in some aspects of my life and just generally lost and confused that I know I have no other choice. Something's got to give. And I know that I have, that's up to me. All right, I've been talking your ear off for far too long. So I'm going to shut up for a second. I want to scroll through my 2024 pins on Pinterest. I'm going to print them out, cut them out. And then we are going to assemble my vision board in my planner. And I will review with you what the vibes are. And then we will actually write and discuss my actual 2024. Oh my God, I keep saying 2023. It's like freaking me out. Goals. Hello. It is very much not the same day, but I did in fact finish my planner. I set everything up. I did my vision board, which you guys saw. I wrote out my goals. And I also wrote out plans of action for each goal on these little post-it notes. So I have actual guidance for how to complete my goals. And I wanted to review my 2024 goals and also my vision board together because I feel like a lot of the things on my vision board, I took directly from what my goals were for 2024. I'm just so happy I have it all set up. I feel so good. Like I feel so much more ready to take on the year now that I have all this stuff set up. I also went through and just started actually planning. I always just feel better when I have everything in one place and I have everything that's in my head, out of my head and on to something else. Let's review my 2024 goals and also my vision board. There are a couple things on my vision board that I didn't put on my goals list and I will just add those at the end. My number one 2024 goal, first thing I wrote down, the most important thing that I want to do this year is start therapy. I've been saying I was gonna start therapy for the last like three years and I haven't done it. I know what I need to do. And I also wrote on this post-it note right here, my steps. 
for what I need to do to start therapy. I am so glad that I did this and especially that I put them on sticky notes because if I finish the goal, I can take the sticky note off, but I also can like stick it onto like my desk or something. I think it's one thing to set a goal and then it's a completely other thing to set a goal with some benchmarks, with an actual plan. I could set goals all I want. I could set whatever goal I wanted, but if I didn't have an actual plan for how to carry the goal out, then I feel like I'm way less likely to complete the goal. I've assigned a couple goals to February for when I get back from my trip to specifically work on, and that is therapy and the second goal. Don't wanna assign myself more than like two of these per month because I feel like if I try to just get every single one of these goals accomplished or at least started in February, like right when I get back, I'm gonna get overwhelmed and that's just not, I need to introduce them slowly. So that's the first one. Second goal I have is to find an exercise regimen that I actually enjoy. I just find that having variety and switching things up makes it more sustainable for me to continue a routine if my routine is not just the exact same thing every single time you know so i want to try out different things i want to try out some new gyms actually i'm going to tour a gym that's so new i'm going to tour a gym when i get back and see if i would like to join they have classes and stuff they've got like you know the typical gym stuff but i feel like it's not a typical gym vibe i will see though that's why i scheduled the tour so i can feel the vibes before i go because i'm very i get a lot of gym anxiety when a gym gives me like gym bro energy it's not my place it just doesn't really feel that's not my vibe i want to just try out some different workout classes see what I enjoy, see what types of exercise I enjoy, running, lifting, whatever, and then create a regimen that incorporates all of the things that I enjoy, a little of them at a time and not just doing the same thing every single day to the point where I'm gonna get bored really quickly. Okay, number three, cook dinners that make me feel good. I have started cooking more in the last year and I have loved it, truly. I've gotten so much better at cooking. I've vlogged some of my things that I've made in Home Cooking with Hannah segments. Y'all love them, I love doing them. I feel like I've improved so much. I want to continue to do that and cook dinners and actually like plan dinners. That's one of the things I wrote down on my plans of action. Look up and plan out and see what ingredients I need to get during the weekend so that when Monday hits, I can make a dinner Monday night and then hopefully I'll be able to eat the leftovers for the next few days. I like to do that when I make any recipe, I just make the full size, even though it's just for me. I store it and I kind of use it as a meal prep, but I find that I just enjoy dinners so much more when I'm doing that. I feel like it's so much more intentional. I'm also working on my cooking skills, which is always good. I don't know, it just makes me feel good when I have a plan and I'm able to incorporate things that are good for me into my dinners and I don't just like pick something random last minute because I realize I'm hungry and it's nighttime and I don't have anything to eat. Another thing going along with this is that I wanna learn what types of foods my body needs and incorporate them and just what makes me feel good what kind of nutrients and things that I should be eating, how much of them I should be eating. And I wanna be able to cook nutritious, fulfilling dinners for myself. My word of the year, fulfillment, it extends to every aspect of my life. So that's another really big goal. Goal number four is to take a pottery class. I've been interested in this since honestly last year. I didn't take a class last year. I kept telling myself I wanted to, so I put it on my 2024 goals. And I want, I mean like an eight to 12 week class, like somewhere I have to go every like, I don't know, Monday night, and I work on pottery in a class. I really want to do that, like a longer term class than just a one-off one. I also would love to do like a one-off one with a friend or something, but I really want to join an actual class that's like several weeks long and then have somewhere to go to do a fun hobby every week and like work on it. And then through that, I just really want to make my own cute little like bowls and plates and cups and mugs. I think that those are so freaking adorable. I love handmade ceramic pieces i love when other people make them and i just really would like to make some for myself like that'll be really fun just a fun hobby i really need to establish more hobbies i feel like the main hobby i have right now is reading which is great and that's another goal on here that i'll get to but i want a creative hobby and something that i haven't done before using a pottery wheel i've never done but i've always been interested in it and it's like why not just pursue the hobby goal number five go to bed earlier and wake up earlier this is one of the most, probably the, <laughs> it's hard. These are all extremely important things, which is why I wrote them down. But this is one of the most important ones to me because I have been so not good at this. I've been going to bed late. I've been reading till like 2, 3 a.m. If I'm gonna read for three hours at night, I should account for that when it comes to like starting my skincare routine 
making sure I'm in bed by a certain time. Like I need to be more intentional with that so that I can read for an hour or two. I need to chill with the reading for like five hours a night. Okay, it's getting to be a problem. So I wanna go to bed earlier. For this one, I wrote be in bed by 9 p.m. on weeknights or 10 if I'm not reading. I usually like to like lay in bed a little bit. I don't fall asleep right away. So my goal is to be asleep by 11 and then wake up by 7 a.m every weekday that is my goal goal number six is to do both morning and night skincare every day i feel like a lot of the time i'm lazy and i will wake up in the morning and i'll be like whatever i'll just throw some moisturizer on i will actually like wash my face and put on my vitamin c serum and my under eye like depuffing balm or whatever i really want to make time to actually wash my face every single morning i wash it every night and i do like my acne medications and stuff and creams at night but in the morning i get lazy and i really like my morning skincare routine it makes me feel good it makes me feel fresh and rejuvenated and it's not that hard like it takes like 10 minutes and i can spare those 10 minutes i can wake up 10 minutes earlier if i need to goal number seven is to journal more this is a vague goal but i did expand on this in my plans of action i wrote journal at least once a week about how things have been going slash reflections slash thoughts my thing is like i i journal when i need to vent and then i'll end up writing like five pages about something that's really pissing me off and then i won't journal again for like six months so i want to consistently journal i want to reflect on my feelings and my thoughts and just what's going on at the moment so i made it a goal specifically to journal at least once a week it could be at the beginning of the week the end of the week whatever i feel like i want to do number eight keep reading with a smiley face reading as i said is probably my favorite hobby right now and it makes me so incredibly happy to do and i just want to continue reading i'm so excited i set a reading goal this year actually i finally made a good reads account okay i'm gonna put my like url or whatever in the description if y'all want to add me on goodreads i've literally been adding everybody back who's added me i made a goodreads account and i set a reading goal for 2024 and my goal this year is 24 books 24 for 2024 and i've already read one so i've got 23 to go i'm not gonna like get down on myself if i don't hit that reading goal but i honestly think that i will hit and surpass that goal because i've been reading every single night it's literally one of the things i look forward to the most in my day and i also wrote down read before bed instead of scrolling slash like otherwise looking at screens watching videos watching tv whatever I really like to read before bed. I feel like it winds me down, gets me off my phone. It's good to, you know, not be on your phone scrolling mindlessly on social media for four hours before bed. So this is something I can do to combat that also. It's like two birds, one stone. And then finally, I added this one last minute because I was thinking about this the other day and I realized I'm horrible at this. My ninth and final goal that I wrote for 2024 is to actually sell my clothes when I do closet cleanouts. I always do closet cleanouts. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have like an entire bag of stuff that I can list on Depop and actually sell. Maybe recoup some of my money from these things that I don't wear. And then the bag sits in my closet for like three years. I'm not even kidding. I cleaned out my closet last year, last like February or March or something. The bag is still in my closet. It is still sitting there untouched. Not one of those things has been sold. Not one of those things has even been listed. It's bad. Okay, it's bad. So I really need to get better at that so I can get things out of my apartment. Like the whole point of cleaning out my closet is to declutter, is to get rid of things I don't need anymore. I mean, it does take time to make the listings and take the photos and all that stuff. But like, I need to get the stuff out of my apartment. I need to declutter. When my space is cluttered, my mind is cluttered. And that is not good for me. It's really that hard i'm just lazy that is it that concludes my 2024 goals that i wrote down a couple other things that i wanted to point out on my vision board that i didn't already show you with my goals include prioritizing my friendships and also building new ones i want to put myself out there this year i want to build more friendships i feel like i have a lot of people that i know and that i am friends with but i want to become deeper friends with them i feel like i spend so much of my time working on myself and doing things for myself and doing things for my career and for my mental health and that's all great that's all stuff that i am happy to be doing but i feel like i can often lose sight of how important it is to also pour into relationships and friendships it's just hard because sometimes i feel like i don't have anything to pour like i don't have i'm pouring from an empty bucket so that all is going to be like work from within type of stuff and i don't know i just want to prioritize my friendships and really build strong good friendships and also just not be afraid to reach out to people not be afraid to ask somebody to go on a coffee date or stuff like that like actually follow through with those things that i know that i want to do and not just say that i want to do them and then never get around to it i put on some like business looking photos here i put my name on a million subscribers play button because that is my main 
numbers goal for YouTube. That's the next like milestone is a million and i've been working towards that for years i also have this little arm with this tattoo of 111 because i really want to get this tattoo this year i've been thinking about it i wanted to do it last year never did i also put a picture of london because i want to go back to london this year i don't have anything planned yet but i really want to go back i love it there so much i have some pictures over here of picnics I love picnics, especially in Central Park. I have this picture of Central Park and I just wanna do more picnics in Central Park this year in the spring and summer. The last thing on here is I have some pictures of Thailand and this little note that says to do live in the moment. It is so important to me to live in the moment and really soak in where I am and appreciate every single moment that I have during my trip because this is once in a lifetime. It's gonna be amazing i'm with some of my best friends i'm in a beautiful amazing place that i have never explored never thought i would even get to explore i'm so serious about this i have a podcast episode that i want to record about being where your feet are because i struggle with this so much but i just really want to soak this in completely be all there be where my feet are and live in the moment not worry about what's gonna happen in the future not worry about anything that happened in the past not worry about work i owe it to myself i owe it to my friends that i'm gonna be with i owe it to this beautiful place that i'm going to be present and be all there and it is one of the most important things that i want to do this year and it's literally happening so soon i just know this is an opportunity to start the year off on such an amazing note and i will be taking it that my friends concludes my 2024 i almost said three again vision board and goals my 2024 planner is now complete it's ready to go and i'm feeling so good i'm feeling so refreshed and inspired and just ready for this new year another thing i wanted to mention before i almost forgot before i end this video i was thinking about potentially doing like a monthly check-in throughout the year i haven't done that before but i thought it might be fun to do kind of a monthly check-in and also maybe a little bit of a reset like you know deep clean my apartment assigning goals checking in on my progress of these goals and revisiting my vision board and stuff. I was thinking about doing that monthly and making videos of that to keep myself on track and also to maybe inspire you guys as well to not just set these goals at the beginning of the year, but check in with yourself monthly on how you're doing and adjust your sales if you need to. Reflect on your progress, maybe like do a little journal entry thing. I don't know. I thought that would be fun. I just want to see how y'all would feel about that if we like that idea that is the end of today's video thank you so much for watching i hope that you liked it if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you stay until this point in the video comment down below i'm a real one because you're a real one if you want to see more videos from me make sure you hit the subscribe button i post a new video every sunday and if you forget that i post a new video every sunday or you just want to get notified right when i post a new video make sure to turn on my post notifications for my channel it's a little bell icon so that you never miss an upload and you get notified right when i post a new video also if you made it to this point in the video comment down below one of your 2024 goals or something that's on your 2024 vision board or just something you want to do this year something you're excited about this year any of those things comment down below i would love to read them and i'm sure other people would as well to just get some inspiration going for this year and some motivation and excitement and with that being said that is it i'm done i'm done talking for right now but i love you so much thank you again for watching and i hope you have an amazing rest of your day an amazing rest of your week and a great start to the new year bye Oh, 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 oh,